hello my collective let's see what is next in love who is coming towards you what is coming next in love who you are going to deal with it's a general reading please take what resonates and leave the rest let's see my collective who is coming towards you what is next in love for you who is coming for you so we have the page of pentacles this person could be your earth sign taurus virgo capricorn Queen of Pentacles, yes, there will be an age gap between you and this person. There will be an age gap. We also have the Devil, ooh, Capricorn, very strong Capricorn. This person could be watching you obsessively or will be very obsessed with you. Once you're going to get to know each other, this is going to be very obsessive uh, connection, okay? Uh, you both are going to be very obsessed with each other. You both are going to be very um, intimate with each other, physical with each other. The chemistry between you and this person will be very off the chart, especially romantically and physically i'm talking about wink wink okay so yeah um, you both could be an earth sign or you both could have a heavy earth placements in your chart especially capricorn placements okay this person maybe want to apologize to you for some of you they're bringing, bringing some type of an offer message or an apology that you have been waiting for a long time you could also meet this person through work or something that you're working together you both could be from the same field or different field but you both are definitely self-made or self-employed. I'm picking up. This person could be very hardworking, okay? They're going to put their hard work into it. They're going to show their uh, efforts, okay? They're going to make the efforts. They're going to prove you with their efforts, with their actions. We have the moon card. Yes, you definitely have a strong moon placements conjunction with this person astrologically. I'm talking about. So you will have a very strong moon conjunction with this person. This person could have a Capricorn moon. Or you have it. Especially if, if you have it, then this is a message for you. Yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be. Um, there's something going to happen on the next full moon, okay? Or could be something happening on an eclipse that this is going to... You will receive this message. You will receive this type of an offer that's coming your way. With the devil and moon, maybe this person or you both have some type of a mental blockage. Some type of a fear, anxiety or tension. To bring something on the table you will you both could be different from each other or there could be some type of a fear blocking this connection here this person could be afraid to talk to you if this is someone returning okay or maybe there is someone who is watching you uh, secretly they're obsessed with you but they are you know like intimidated by your energy so they feel like you're very intimidating so they maybe think that you're not going to offer uh, you're not going to accept their offer so they could be afraid to approach you or contact you yeah this could be someone new with the ace of wands they're really desiring you, they like you, or they will fall in love with you. This is going to start maybe as passionate or something intimate or romantic. Like, could be love at first sight or spark for some of you. I think a lot of you, some of you, I feel this person already watching you and obsessed with you. They're very, de they're desiring you, they're really interested in you, and they're going to take action. Yeah, this person could live far from you. Maybe that's a blockage between you and this person. So they may be afraid how it's going to work. Uh, and others of you, this is someone that you are moving on with this person. Either this is someone coming back with an apology and you're going to mend things with each other and you're going to start all over again. But there's some type of an offer, message or an apology coming for you in the next I'm seeing. So this person could be a, a fire sign or they have a fire placement. So it could be air sign also. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some of you, bottom of the deck, we also have a high priestess. Pisces energy, so you really need to trust your own intuition here. I think you already feel it. You maybe sense that this person has feelings for you. Or you need to trust your intuition to bring this person into your life or not. To, ex uh, to accept this an apology or not. Or, um, you know, to give them a chance or not. Whoever this is. But most of you, I feel this is someone that you already know. So they're bringing some type of a uh, new beginning, okay? They want to start all over again. Or some of you, this is a new person. So when you will get to know each other, um, you need to maybe open up. And, and stop fearing, open your heart for this person because this is going to be a big move for you so you can move on from your past. So that's your reading. Gonna see you later. Bye.